Yeah, wondering what the hell am I doing now? So, this is uh, Street Politics, once again. Shabor, Eric Carthage, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so, I'm wondering where to start, huh? Usually I wait for a certain presence to hit me with, ah, Trump and Russia. So, thus far, this is what we got this far. This is what we got this far. Um, so, Trump was elected president. Just recently. This recently happened. This is this year. Yes, that really happened, right? And, uh, yeah, Hillary lost. There plenty of reasons why she would lose. You know, Benghazi and all this other shit. Libya, you name it. Um, emails. But that, the thing is, that's her business. Blah, blah, blah. You don't want to get into her emails, her personal emails that could have been hacked. Those are still her personal emails. That's how I look at that shit. But whatever. Trump is elected, right? Not for nothing. Yo, Putin, Putin endorsed Trump, all right? <laughs> it's documented. He didn't fuck with the election now. He didn't go, like, they, they're the Kremlin. You know, they always been up in America's shit for a good minute. So it's like, for the election, to go, for them to really blame him is really fucking petty. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to that shit. It's petty, and you know it's petty, all right? And it's like, holy shit, I don't want to, I don't want to die you know, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want a nuclear holocaust. We want, we want to get a Nazi in the office and have a nuclear holocaust. That bitch, you know, damn it. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not the case. You know, that's not the case. It's just not the case. All right, that's really, you know, a terrorist threat. Still, you know, we've been in Afghanistan for about twenty years now and shit. You know, it, we've been in there for a good while. I'm about sick of the Taliban. Like, how many times? How many times we going after some ghosts in caves? You know, or some freaking uh, mula mula can't write those shit. But for some reason, they're still giving us a fucking problem. They're still there shooting up motherfuckers, you know. Then you have this ISIS thing, you know. Everybody has their little conspiracy theories of whether, you know, Obama supported ISIS or you name it. The point is, these motherfuckers is an offshoot of what happened in Syria when that got neglected. That's how it started. It just happened to cross that border to Iraq for a little while. All the chaos that's happening in Syria caused ISIS to formulate, all right? Open territory in Iraq caused a whole little, you know, oh, let's make it a, a ISIS, it, Islamic State of, it, of uh, Iraq and Syria. You know, you got the Yemen thing. You got all these a Arab motherfuckers, you know, and at the end of the day, it's like, who do you trust? that wants to be an American, that's what you really got to ask, you know, because there's an immigrant, there's an immigrant issue. It's been an immigrant issue since, since the land was founded. <laughs> like, uh, it's been an immigrant issue since the whole land was founded. So it's like, we're now dealing with it in ways where you have to look at it like, how, why does this person really want to be an American? Is it because their, their nation is starving? Is it because they want to make money? Or is it because they want to take over America? <laughs> it can happen. I've seen it done. I've seen coups happen. I've seen people move in certain places, then all of a sudden it's their place. It's human nature, you know, it's human nature. It's how we dominate the world, you know. Is Donald Trump a white supremacist? I don't know. I'll put it this way. But first of all, there's no way they could influence the election unless Putin says, you know what, during the election, you heard, you heard Putin say, you know what, I don't know about that Hillary, but Trump, I kind of dig him. And somebody fell for that shit. <laughs> That's why he's laughing right now. With a big ass fifth of vodka, you know how he do. And I was saying, word up, shots, you know, oh, the old vodka. Is Trump a white supremacist? I'm not sure. I'll put it this way. What he did for our city of hall did a lot for me. It did a lot for the black American. What he did for Alma Rosa did a lot. <laughs> now, the alt-white, sorry, alt-right, <laughs> this happens to be mostly right, the alt-right, alt-white, alt whatever. They're just like a Black Lives Matter without any black lives dying to say that they matter. You know what I mean? Like, there's no real white injustice except for reverse racism because they can't get away from that shit. Every time you look at them, they 
you blaming their father for some shit, for some shit that they ain't do. You know what I'm saying? They still kind of trying to live off of it. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, it's nothing you can do about it. You know, it's not like they're going into places and reestablishing motherfuckers and you know, then taking all the money. <laughs> Yeah, they don't do that anymore. Exactly. <laughs> we did, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a, listen, it, at the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. It's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's a money thing. It's always going to be a money thing until it turns into a life or death thing. All right? So we're always going to have this issue. There's always going to be somebody worried about, you know, what's happening in the South now. Because that's deep history. Some people respect that history. And some people... Wish that history never existed. You know what I mean? I'm talking about that southern slavery shit. You know what I mean? Whether it's the Confederate flag flying, you know what they was about. You know what I mean? You know what they was about. So whenever you see it, it's like it's a it's a culture shocker. At the same time, it's American history. We should actually leave that shit in a museum. It shouldn't be flying in front of your house. Okay? <laughs> I understand listen, I would love to see a statue of General E. Lee in a museum. <laughs> you know what I mean? In a museum, it makes sense. It makes perfect fucking sense. But in a public square, in Columbus Square, or something like that, it just kind of, you know, are we really still representing this? You know what I mean? This is totally not what we want to tell the, the world. You know, it's totally not what we want to tell North Korea. Oh, yeah, we still represent that shit. Oh, they're looking at us and laughing. You every time you see Kim Jong Un, he's laughing his head off. <laughs> you never really see him having a bad day, cause he's not having a bad day. He really doesn't have to give a fuck about shit, except for who might bomb him after he's testing some shit to save his own nation, just in case. That's how he's moving. But that's not how we see it. We think he's being reckless, and there's some truth to that. Plenty of truth to that. We were reckless. <laughs> we've done that, you know what I mean, but now we haven't, you know, it's like, we're trying to, you know, figure out some way to get these stockpiles down, but at the end of the day, when are we going to need this nuclear energy? I didn't think of that, so we got oil and we got coal. Meanwhile, China is pretty freaking silent. They're pretty, they're pretty silent. With the population they have, they're really silent, and, you know, nothing you can say about that, that's, that's, you know, people know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. Saudi Arabia is like, mm. All right. But, you know, um, I just want to say the hurricanes, you know, they, they're they not man-made. <laughs> you heard that conspiracy? Yeah. They, they can't be man-made, but the global warming effect and certain things that's happened in the Caribbean prior, like after that oil spill, Totally could trigger that shit, especially it's it's the season. It is the season for the hurricane. Um, we don't we're, we're. I definitely am surprised that there are islands being like completely wiped out. You know, um, there was evacuations, evacuations going on and stuff. A couple of evacuations going on. You know what I mean, but at the end of the day, there's people gonna come back and they're gonna rebuild stronger, just like New Orleans shit. Just like New York has done a million times. New York just keeps doing it. You know, they just keep doing it. From New York, by the way. Uh, so is Trump, by the way. Yeah, first Trump, first New York president in a long fucking time. I can't, this is so funny. Um, all we need is love. All we need is peace. And if we could just all get along, we can all build a great world. We can go to Mars and have babies and shit. We can go to bars and start doing hip hop too. Bring your guitars with you fellas. You know what I mean? Bring your bring your banjos. We could go to Mars, baby. You know what I mean? We could go to Venus if we really tried. You know what I mean? Fucking start some shit in a new civilization. Worlds and worlds like Star Trek and shit. We keep fucking with each other. You know, keep looking at the differences and shit. And we have no choice but to do it. It's in our nature. We're looking at differences or who's better, who's smarter. Who has the biggest dick? Who has the biggest ass? You name it. You know, can you can you play basketball better than me? Oh well, I could play I could play baseball like a motherfucker. Can you wrestle? Oh well, can you shoot? You know what I mean? Like, there's all this shit going on. You know, and it's like at the end of the day, man.
get in the way of my money, I'm going to get in the way of yours. It's that simple. So, I don't want no problems. Listen, fly, fly a Confederate flag all the fuck you want. You know what I mean? It's fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's history. At the same time, you know if anything happens to a lynching, a, a black man getting lynched down there, the first ones they looking for is your ass. I don't even want to talk Nazis right now. I don't even want to talk. I don't want to go. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Germany is peaceful. Peaceful now. I like Germany. You know what I mean? They good. But still, this whole shit got to stop, y'all. And we could build a better nation. Make America really great again. You know what I mean? Y'all want to punch this guy in the face? Y'all can't stand Trump? He's the president, motherfucker. I ain't fucking with him. <laughs> he's the president now. Yeah, they got that asshole from Trump Tower. Yes, yes, he's the president now. Stop fucking with them, all right? Damn. Try to get this money, man. I'm telling y'all, get this fucking money. I'm trying to tell y'all, get this motherfucking money. All right, cool. With that said, y'all have a blessed day. Hotel. Um, peace. Blessings. Eric Carthage. I'm still in effect, baby. Um, holla at but Subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, all that other shit. I'm going to have some more bangers. I got plenty more music coming and all that other shit. So, I love y'all and... Thank you. <laughs>